night. So I've been watching a lot of uh, reading vlogs. Last few months I've been just watching a lot of them. And so I decided what better way to try and get back into YouTube than to try and film a reading vlog. Now, I think it's gonna be fun to film and hopefully it'll get me reading more, but I'm probably not gonna enjoy editing it because I don't enjoy editing as much, which is why I struggle to put up YouTube videos at all. But I really like doing this and it's a lot of fun. I like like the conversations that can arise from it. So it is Monday, June 4th, I think. And uh, I woke up at 4 a.m for a few hours. So I finished one book that I've been reading for over a month and then I read an entire graphic novel, which is 400 pages. So, so far the week is off to a good start reading. I finally finished Her Body and Other Parties by uh, Carmen Maria Machado, which was so good. Like, this book is just so good. It's like the last, the second to last story, The Resident, was like, I don't know, it wasn't as good as some of the other ones, but like, The Husband Stitch, Inventory, especially Heinous, was just like, amazing. Like, it was, there was so much good in this book. And then, I also read All of Spinning by Tilly Walden, which is a graphic memoir about Tilly Walden, obviously. Was like a figure skater from a very young age until she was about 17 and it talks about uh, her struggling to come out in Texas as gay during that time and how everyone was kind of awful to her. Um, also just the bad experience she had in general and also just like the world of like mid-level competitive figure skating which was very interesting because I had never- so that's where we are so far today. I'm wearing the same shirt I was yesterday at a writing thing with friends so it's off to a good week. I realized I haven't filmed a clip since Monday now, and it is now Thursday. Um, Thursday afternoon, to be precise. And I also realized in that first clip, I didn't really introduce myself at all, so hi, I'm Casey. I sometimes blog at Story Notions. Um, and I'm also trying to read mostly queer books this month. I was going to say all, but I'm currently in the middle of a series reread, which is not queer, so I want to continue with that. But besides that, mostly queer. So since we last spoke and I finished Her Body and Other Parties and Spinning, I have since finished uh, The Poet X, which is a beautiful cover. I love this cover so much. And I really enjoyed it. It only has like a queer side character, like the twin brother of the main character is gay, but it's still really interesting and it's all like written in verse. And it was just, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. It just, a lot happened. And then, since then, I'll show you the actual cover since I took it off to read it. But I started reading All Out, the anthology that came out. Was it the beginning of this year? Or end? I don't know. But this has a bunch of stories in it by a bunch of different authors. A lot of them I've read, a lot of them I haven't. So far I've read the first five and I really enjoyed all of them. If you want to know who's like in the anthology. <laughs> These are all the authors in this anthology, just so you know. And then... So I'm like a little bit in on that one. And then I've continued my rereading of the Wax and Wayne series by Brandon Sanderson. And I'm on chapter four of this, this book that hurts my soul. Why are you like this? That's where we're at this week so far. Um, tomorrow I'm going into Boston. I live like outside of Providence. So I'm going into Boston tomorrow for a book signing for a friend who I haven't seen in four years, which is just, I still can't believe it's been that long. Like, she's gotten married in that time. It's, stuff's happened. Um, so I'll show you that stuff tomorrow. Um, and then for the rest of the week, reading-wise, I have no idea. I would like to finish All Out and also The Bands of Morning, but I have no idea if that's possible because I haven't been feeling in a super reading mood. We'll see, because as soon as I do, like, force force myself to like sit down and read I'm like oh I do like doing this this is nice so I don't know brains are weird
just woke up, but I keep forgetting to film this clip. Um, you'll have seen from like the montage of footage I found in Boston to see a friend for their book signing, which I will show you because I'm going to show you the books I bought. Um, but I didn't end up filming anything like during the event or afterwards grabbing like, I didn't film anything. Um, I guess I was just too focused and very tired at that point. But yeah, I spent the day in Boston like walking around reading yeah. one of my friend's book events at, what is it called? Paper Cuts JP, which was an awesome bookstore. I recommend it if you're ever in like the JP area. I'm going to do book mail first because I realized that I haven't told you guys what I've gotten in the mail for book mail. And isn't that fun? Like, that's really fun. So first of all, for Hubhorn by Zoretta Cordova, I still have not read the first book in the series, but I love her and I'm very excited to read. Um, I think there's gonna be a third book and I think it's just a trilogy, but I'm not sure. I know for sure that someone mentioned that this one ends on a cliffhanger, but I'm still really excited to read both. I also bought Love Beyond Body, Space, and Time, which is an indigenous LGBT sci-fi anthology, which I read, as hair in it, which I read last summer for, uh, I think I read it in June as well, last summer, um, but I didn't own a physical copy of it, and I really wanted to reread it, so I figured I would get a physical copy so I can, like, annotate it and stuff. My bought was from Boston, um, from the book of it. So first of all, I went to Mars Noble because I had time, and why not? <laughs> And I bought The Reader by uh, Tracy Chi, which while I was checking out with this person was like, this is amazing, this is such a good book. I haven't read the second one yet, but this one is so good. And I was like, I keep hearing that, I keep hearing good things, so I'm really glad I bought this one. Um, then I also kind of randomly bought Dress Your Family and Corduroy and Denim by, Corduroy and Denim by David Sedaris, because he had apparently been there, like recently, because his new book came out. And so this is signed, I don't know if you can see that. Um, but I haven't read any David Starris yet, but I know that I really wanted to, so I just kind of picked this one at random, like I wasn't sure which one to start with, but some of them weren't interesting to me, like some of his really early stuff, so I just decided to try this one. I don't, I don't know how this is going to work out, but I do really want to read something by him. And then the rest I bought at Paper Cuts JP in Jamaica Plain, which I don't think I said before. Um, so the first thing. Black Girl Magic, The Great Beat Poetry Volume 2, which sounds amazing, like it has, I don't know, like it has all of these, and then I also learned that they have like their own like publishing thing, that they publish their own books. So this is uh, A Dream Between Two Rivers by K.L. Piera, Stories of Liminality, as you said, I can't remember the owner's name because I'm awful. Um, but she's very nice. These are a bunch of like short stories that are very like surreal and weird. And I really like surreal and weird, so I figured I would pick this one up. And then finally, the reason I was at the store at all was because of the lovely Robin Schneider, who I adore. This is her newest book, Invisible Ghosts, and I will buy her book and read it. It will be cute and adorable and probably like a little bit weird. But, you know, that's why I love her. So if you haven't checked out Robin's books yet, uh, The Beginning of Everything and Extraordinary Means are her two books before this one. This one just came out this week and I have not read it yet. And I'm not sure if I'm going to read it this month or next month because I'm trying to read mostly queer books this month, which I also don't think I have mentioned yet in this reading vlog. But yes, Robin. And it, this is obviously signed and there's some book stuff in here. But fun things, but also... Um, and I also brought two of the other books, but they're already on my sign shelf with the other friends. That's where they live. Anyway, so I've been reading, and I actually read a surprising amount in Boston, but before that, I started The Bands of Morning by Brennan Sanderson. This is a reread. I'm this. I'm only like 75 pages or something um, into this one, but I'll read it really fast because it's a reread, and it's Sanderson, and it's always so fast, and I love Wax and Wayne so much. And also, Steris and Marisai and Milan, like, all of the characters are amazing. We have Red Sanderson, pick up the Mistborn series. This is, uh, I think Mistborn Era 2, Wax and Wayne. But Mistborn Era 1, one of my favorite series of all time. And then, on my way to Boston, I decided to pick up What We Left Behind by Robin Talley. Um, I don't think I've read a Robin Talley book before, and I picked this one up on a whim. An unlikely story. I think I picked this up in an, un an unlikely story because on the back, 
if it uses like um, the term genderqueer, which I had never seen used on like a mainstream published book before. I'd never seen genderqueer used, so this is amazing so far. I'm like 200 pages into it about to be asked. Like I'm like this far into it and it's just so good and it's so thoughtful and like the characters are learning as they're figuring this out. So like Tony's girlfriend, Gretchen is like having like trying to figure it out and trying to be supportive because she loves Tony but also she just doesn't quite understand because she doesn't feel that way so she doesn't understand what she's trying to be as supportive as possible and researching it and she corrects herself in her head when she thinks like no I shouldn't think that and it's just so interesting and so good and I just I'm loving it a lot I'm probably gonna finish it today I really want to um, and I cannot like I'm not finished with this book so maybe like something horrible will happen but I don't think so I'm pretty sure it's going to be amazing all the way through so I highly highly recommend this book it's so good um, yeah so I'm trying to read most of her books this month which I mentioned earlier which is going pretty well I before the month started I was like I'll pull out all of my unread queer books and put them all together and man do I have a lot I did not realize how many I have but I do kind of gravitate towards them and I have a lot of books in general which if you know me or you, if you've seen anything you probably know that I have a lot of books but uh, I've got like a mini TBR for the rest of the month which is going to be a little crazy because it is my birthday this month and there's a house show with friends and stuff and I don't know what's going to happen but there's three stacks of queer books I could read this And of course, uh, I don't only read queer books just in June because that's ridiculous, but I, I do like trying to focus on them in this month just cause like, I don't know, it's just fun. It's just a fun thing to have a theme, I guess. But always read queer books because they're amazing. So, um, I guess that's it for right now. I, this is an 11 minute clip, so that's gonna be fun to edit. Especially with my voice sounding like this, hopefully I don't have to read on this. Um, but I will be back probably with like a wrap up for this this thing I've been doing. I don't know. We're still figuring it out. It is Monday and I realized I never filmed a wrap up for this so we're gonna do that now. So I finished What We Left Behind by Robin Talley yesterday which was amazing. You can see all the junk in the background. We're gonna turn this way. Yeah, so I finished this book. And this book was so good. Like, just more people need to read this book. I had never heard of it until I just saw it at the bookstore and I was like, this looks amazing. And it was, it was amazing. So read this book if you can. And then read these books this month, this month, this week. Well, also this month, but you know. And also these. So in total, I read four books in one graphic novel, which I think is pretty good since I haven't been reading a lot, if at all, so I'm I'm pretty happy with that. So, I guess that is the wrap up. I don't know if I'm, I'm hoping to be doing this again this week, so you'll probably see me in this same shirt, because I'll probably film an intro clip right after this. <laughs> but, um, yeah, reading has been going good, especially if we're reading for Pride Month, which is awesome. So, if you enjoyed this, please let me know. What have you been reading this week? I guess that's it.